Welcome to my top 10 game changing tips in Excel. If you have a sales report and like to highlight any sales below 30%, try not to do this. Select this cell, Format Painter, and try to paint all the areas manually like that. This is time consuming and can lead to a lot of errors. Let me show you a more productive and an efficient way to do it. Select the area that you want to paint. Press Ctrl Q will bring up this menu here. Select top 10%. This will highlight the top 10 performer. After that, you're going to have to inverse the rule. Go to Home, Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules. In here, double click on top 10%. And after that, go and change the top to bottom. And now here, you're going to assign 30% and click OK. And now you'll see any sales below 30% are highlighted. If you have a single row of data with four cells like this for row number one, in order to combine them into one big column, highlight the whole columns like this for row number one and do merge and center. And you can see it is combined to one big column for row one. But what if you have multiple rows like this with four columns across like that? How do you do it? You can't do the same way. Let me show you what happens if you do the same thing. Highlight the cells like this with the rows and columns. And if you do merge and center, you get a warning saying that merging cell will only keep the upper left value. So if you click OK, you can see only the first row is preserved. The rest of them has been erased. Let me undo this. Let me show you another way to do this. Again, highlight the cells that you want to merge. And what you do is that you do a pull down menu here and then select merge across. And now you can see that every row uh, has a combined column now. If you have a data set of name and position and you have to filter the names based on position, try not to manually copy it. It will lead to a lot of errors and a lot of labor work. Alternatively, try not to use data and filter. A much better way to use is to use a function called filter. And the way to use it will be saying equal filter open parenthesis and you select all the names on your data set. Press F4 to make it into a reference and you press comma for the next argument. Let's go back to our filter here. Let's get rid of the A1 comma and then you highlight all the position now. And then you press F4 over here to make it into a fixed reference. Then you say equal, and let's go up all the way here, and then select catcher and close parenthesis. As you can see, the names of all the catchers are listed here. Next thing you do is you copy the uh, this cell here and you paste it on the outfielders and then short stop. And you can see they are all filtered according to the position. And the beauty of this thing is, let's say for example, if you want to make uh, J Payton into a catcher from the outfielder, I'm going to copy catcher and put here as outfielder. Notice how this data set get changed accordingly. Likewise, if you change, say, uh, out, Ryan, say, Alex to outfielder, see the data sets get changed accordingly. Formatting a phone number is essential so you can read and dial the phone number correctly. For example, these first three numbers, they are in North American phone numbers. So to format this into a North American format, you press Ctrl-1 and you can go to Special and then select the phone number that's in the list and click OK. And then you can apply to the remaining of them. But this one here has a country code, which is 1 for United States. If you press Ctrl-1 and try using the same formatting again with special, you can see that the country code is embedded into the area code. So you, know, you must customize this. In order to customize, you press Ctrl-1 again, and you go Customize, and then you're going to put the first digit, which is your country code, followed by parentheses, area code, and the remaining phone numbers that you have on that phone number here and you go OK and then you can apply the format to the rest of the phone numbers. In my previous video, I demonstrated how you can format a North American phone. But what if you have an international phone list with different format and varying length? This is how you do it. For India, you press Ctrl 1 and then go Custom. Then you use 
this format country area and the phone number for france is similar control one customs you put a plus country area and the phone number but what if you have a phone number with varying length this is how you do it control one custom user rule say if you have eight numbers you use this format if you have nine numbers you use this format and all else you use this format click ok and you can see they are formatted nicely so you copy and you paste if your data set is messy like this with mixed cases with uppercase and lowercase in one word that's an easy and a simple way to solve this the first one will be to use proper proper will make the first letter of your word into uppercase and the rest into lowercase to use proper just use the word equal and type the word proper open parenthesis and the cell where the text is then you select it close parenthesis so you can apply by double clicking on this square box here but you can see that there's a couple of white spaces here in the front to resolve those uh, you go here and you nest the function called trim in there like that and you can apply again with double clicking this square box here and it applies right across you notice how the white spaces in between the text are also eliminated and also uh, the front of course and there's a couple of them with white spaces at the back they are all got eliminated and you also notice that all the punctuations is also preserved and the comma is preserved it could be in between or it could be the front the other case that I want to talk about will be upper upper will make everything into uppercase to use upper you use the word or the character equal and type the word upper open parenthesis and the cell that you want to do and if you hit apply again you can see the white spaces are not respected for so again you use the word trim in here you nest the trim inside the upper open and close parenthesis and you apply everything the rest of them uh, to make everything into lowercase is equal lower open parenthesis select the cell where the text is and hit enter and everything goes lowercase and you hit apply everything by clicking on the square box here again to get rid of the white spaces you nest the word trim in it and then apply all the cells by clicking on this box here double click on it If you have a matrix of number and you're trying to find the summation of each column here, this 20 comes about when you add 10 plus 7 plus 2 plus 1. These cells are ignored because they are text. To convert this text into numeric value, you select the cell, do a pull down, convert number. A more productive way would be to select a very first cell which is a string or a text, drag it across and then go through the same process of converting that into numeric number. The idea behind that is that so long as you select the very first cell which is a text here and even if you press ctrl A to select this area then now you can convert them into numeric value like that. Another way to get around that would be to put a 1 on any of this empty cell here and then select that 1 again press ctrl C to copy it and select the area you want to convert them into numeric number go here paste special multiply and you can do it that way too if you want to enter the word epson on any of these blank exam results on leave vacation and sick anything other than the exam result itself this is how you do it press ctrl a to select the data set area ctrl g to open a go to window click on special blanks and ok what that does is that it selects all the blank cell next you're going to have to select on leave vacation and the sick the way to do it is to press shift f8 and let go of both keys now click on on leave vacation sick and sick and then type the word absent and press ctrl enter to apply the text absent to all the selected text If you need to get rid of these line breaks, like this guy and this guy here, try not to do it manually, like this. It's going to be laborious and tedious, especially if your data set is very long. Let me show you a quicker way. Press Ctrl H to open up Find and Replace pop-up window. 
on the find what you're going to press ctrl j you can see a blinking dot going on and off once that's up go to the next line replace with what and you press space to replace carriage return with space and replace all 24 replaces are done and if i close this you can see all the line breaks are gone If your spreadsheet is plagued by division by zero error mainly because your quantity is null or zero, this is how you can get around it. I'm going to show you two ways to do it. The first one being a go to. So you select any cells in your data set and you press Ctrl G and click on special and then check on formula and remove every other checkbox except the error and click on OK. So what this does is that it goes and select all the uh, error cells. And what you can do here is type a blank or a word for it. So let's say, for example, I'm just going to put more intuitive words here saying no QTY. And once you're done entering those details, press Control Enter. And all those error cells will have no quantity or QTY. But the only problem with this method is that if you enter a quantity now, you can see that it's not dynamically changing anymore. So you lose that automatic calculation. Let me show you another way to get around it. I'm going to press Ctrl Z to undo it. Uh, the other way is to use a function called if error. So here you're going to type if error, open parenthesis and do your division, which is B2 divided by C2. It will show you the value if there's no error. But if there's error, I'm going to say display no QTY like that or you can leave it blank if needed to be and it will show you blank but the beauty of this is that if you enter a quantity you can see that it does this calculation let's make it more intuitive and put the word no qty and then now if you do remove your quantity you can see uh, it will show no qty and let's go ahead and apply the same formula to all my cells here and you can see there's no division by zero error and to make it more polished, this is how you do it. So you select the cell here, you go conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and you click on text that contains. Contains what? It contains QTY, which is partial of this word. You can change different format if you like here and click on OK. And if you double click this um, box here, you apply it to all the cell. Now this is more dynamic. So now if you enter some numbers here it does this calculation alternatively if you remove any of this cell to zero or blank you get no qty instead of a division by zero error on my youtube channel i regularly share excel tips and tricks every day make sure you subscribe to stay updated